Good morning, friends. Welcome to music time. All right, I've got two special guests with me today. We've got Abby Rose that's here and Ashley Grace. All right, so we're here at home, of course, in the music room. Um, and last week, well, not actually last week, before we got out of school, we were talking about the Brass family. And the Brass family was the first family of instruments that we had taken a look at. Let's see. Can you name some instruments in the Brass family? Trombone. Trombone. Remember the trombone is the one with the slide. Uh, we had the tuba, the trumpet, which is the most popular brass instrument. Can you name one? French horn. The French horn belongs to the brass family. And what's the most important thing? Do you remember what we talked about that you had to do with your lips? Buzz. Buzz. You have to buzz your lips. Thank you, Abby. Um, so today we're going to talk about this week uh, the woodwind family. And the woodwind instruments are an exciting group of instruments that we're going to look at. And I happen to have two friends here that play woodwind instruments. And so um, we're excited that they're here and they can give us some live examples. So remember on my video the other day, I told you that you're going to need some straws, okay? So go ahead, if you need to pause the video and go run and get your straws um, so that you'll have them toward the end of the video because we're going to use them to do something kind of fun. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the Woodwind family. Um, Abby, why don't you show us some examples of, hmm, this might be something that you have at home. A bottle. Let's look at the bottles. All right, so we've got two different bottles. Of course, these are both, look, two different sizes. We've got a big one and a small one. Now, before Abby plays these at all, what do you think? Which one is going to make the lower sound? The bigger one or the smaller one? We've talked about that in class. So, let's see if I can hear your answers. I think you probably got it right. All right, Abby, why don't you play the big one first? Isn't that cool? So that was, would we say, a low sound? Yes. All right, let's try the small one. Do you hear the difference? You can hear the difference, can't you? Because we know that the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. And the smaller it is, the higher the sound. So this is something that you can do at home. If you have an empty uh, bottle at home, you can, now don't go pour, you know, everything out of it to get the bottle. So if you have an empty, you've got to have an empty bottle. But you know what they could do? If you didn't have two bottles, you could take one bottle and fill it up with water and hear the sound and then pour a little bit of water out and this pitch will change. And then you can pour a little bit more out and see how you could change the pitch. That'd be fun in itself to do, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. You could have a whole bunch of different bottles sitting there and put water all in different sizes and go down through there and blow. There's people that do that and actually play songs. Yes. Pretty cool. Okay, so the woodwind family, we know that it's an instrument that you have to blow into. Okay, um, and a lot of people get confused on the woodwind family because they think that they're always made of wood. And they're not always made out of wood. Sometimes they're made out of metal or plastic. Um, one of the first um, woodwind instruments that we always don't think about sometimes is the recorder. Now, Ashley Grace has a recorder, um, and you can see that this is the mouthpiece up here at the top. And then it has little holes. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Let's see if we can hold it a little closer. If you can see, okay, it's got holes in the sides. All right. And then, kind of like the brass instrument, it has a small bell at the end. All right. Now, Ashley Grace is going to play a song for us. So, what's happening is the air is going through it. Can you name that tune? What was that? 
Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Or it could have been three blind mice. Three blind mice. All right, so the recorder, what's happening is the air, she's blowing it through the mouthpiece, right? And the air is vibrating inside, and she's changing the pitch when she is putting her fingers over the holes, and so it's changing the pitch to either be higher or lower, all right? These instruments have been around a long time. One of the oldest instruments. Uh, shepherds would use these in the field to entertain themselves, to get their herds together and um they this the woodwind family is probably one of the oldest families of instruments okay all right thanks asha grace now one of the most common woodwind instruments that we think about and it looks a little different is the flute now abby has a flute that she's going to get for us um she played flute in middle school and uh so it's been a while since you've played the flute yeah. All right, the flute comes in how many pieces, Abby? It comes in three pieces. Three pieces. All right, she's gonna show you how you're gonna put it together. Now first, show them the mouthpiece. Here's the mouthpiece for the flute. Now, Asha Grace played the recorder up and down like this, right? How do you play the flute? Like this. You have to hold it to the side, like that. All right, so the mouthpiece is right here. Can you see that hole? All right, play just the mouthpiece for him. Very good. So it's that same concept that we looked at when we were blowing into the bottle earlier. All right, then she's gonna put the main body on. All right, get that on there. Now you fifth graders, this is one of the instruments that you might choose when you're looking at going to middle school and playing in the band. Flute is a very popular instrument. People like it because it's small and it's easy to carry in your backpack and you don't have to lug around a big instrument. All right. So she's got all three pieces lined up. All right. So blow into it now. Okay. It changed the pitch because what happened? It got bigger, right? The flute got longer. All right. Can you, what is this? That cleans the flute. Oh, so you touched it? Yes. Oh, yuck. Okay, that's the flute cleaner. It's important that you have to clean out your instruments, all right? Because they get spit and moisture inside, so you have to keep them clean. All right, so you play us a song, and we're going to see if we can name that tune. your flute there okay um, you see that you have your different keypads here that is what you use to change the pitch to play the song Now there really isn't a huge bell per se on the end of a flute okay it's a very cylinder instrument um, it's a little different than many woodwinds because of course this one's made out of metal and it does not have a reed now, we're going to talk to Asha Grace, thank you, Abby, um, about a reed instrument. The woodwinds have reeds on them, like a clarinet. I wish I had a clarinet here, but I don't. It's the one I have is at school. Um, a clarinet reed is different than an oboe reed, and Asha Grace plays the oboe. And so, a clarinet reed is flat. Maybe I can insert a picture of a clarinet reed right here, but I'm not exactly sure. But a clarinet reed is flat. 
A saxophone has a reed that's just like a clarinet reed. It's also flat. Um, can you show them what the oboe reed looks like? It's very different. Maybe if you could hold it in front of this black part right here, maybe they can see it. If you get a little closer to the camera there. All right. There you go. Get in there with it. Okay. All right, and so there are two pieces of wood, right, on this so reed? It's called a double reed. It's a double reeded instrument. Now, what other instruments are double reeded besides the oboe? There's the bassoon, and that's the one that's really long. That goes like all the way from up here to way down here, and you have to hold it like this. Then there's the English horn, which is just like the oboe. It's just a little bit longer. This one's kind of short. All right, and you this comes in pieces too, right? Mm -hmm. All the right. bell, the middle, and the top joint. Okay, and then did you notice how she put the reed in? Can you take the reed out again? All right, so the reed, it just sticks right there on the top. You want to play it for him? Kind of sounds like a duck. Mm -hmm. Now, I will insert this information. When Ashley Grace first started playing the oboe, it was a lovely sound, wasn't it, Abby? Yes. We had to get earmuffs. We had to get earplugs. And then we play outside. That has, she had to play outside. Uh, she's come a long way. But the oboe, um, it takes a while to get to learn how to play the oboe. Um, and it's not always the most pleasing sound when a student first starts the oboe. So you kind of have to be patient to wait a little bit. All right, so play for us something on the oboe there. I have a song, so, maybe. So you can, okay, just one second with the song. Oh. You can hear the difference of the flute and the oboe, right? The flute was a higher sound because it's smaller than the oboe. The oboe has a real mellow sound um, and it's real smooth. What kind of music? does the oboe play a lot. It can really play all different styles of music. Um, a lot of classical music has oboe. The orchestra, um, symphonies have oboes. All right, so you're going to play a song for us? Maybe. Okay. Let's see if we can guess what song she's going to play. <laughs> Frozen 2. That's mm. right. That is what it is. Do it one more time. I love that. I actually saw that movie the other day on Disney. It's great. Um, has great music in that. All right. So what are you having to do with your lips when you're playing that? It's different than a brass instrument. Did you notice that? She was not buzzing her lips together. So show them. What do you do with your lips? You have to put the reed in your mouth. Okay. And you put your lips around it. And I think. Might sneeze. Nope. Okay. Oh, you're going to sneeze. <laughs> I thought about it. You have to put your mouth around the reed. And then you blow through it. And you keep your lips very tight on the reed. Your teeth mm -hmm. don't touch it. Your oh, lips. your teeth don't touch it, just your lips. Can everybody do that? Try that. It's kind of like you cover your lips. When you you're like, like an old lady. Like an old lady. Oh, hello, Abby. Put your, hello. Put your reading. Just like that, you put your reading in. Nice. Awesome. Now, there's some other instruments uh, we talked about a little bit. A clarinet. Bless you. There's your sneeze. A clarinet. Also belongs to the woodwind family. A saxophone. Now, that's probably one of the trickiest instruments in the woodwind family. Because a saxophone is shaped kind of like the letter J, J. And it's brass in color. So, a lot of people think because of the color of the instrument that 
It is a brass family instrument, but it's actually not in the brass family. It has a reed and it belongs to the woodwind family. Um, the saxophone is also a big instrument that middle schoolers choose yeah. um, to play in the band too. It's a cool instrument. I don't have a saxophone here. I wish I did. We need to get yeah, a saxophone. Um, and of course the saxophone is bigger and so it would be lower than the oboe. All right, now there's one more woodwind instrument that we have that's kind of small, tiny. One that you may not think about that belongs to the woodwind family. Can you see what this is? Does anybody know the name of that? You see it there? It is a harmonica. A harmonica. Now, inside the harmonica, when you blow into it, um, it has little reeds inside that you're blowing into. I was going to give us an example of the harmonica. A lot of blues music, country music um, has the harmonica. Can you place a song? No song. I can, I can do something. you heard you can blow into the harmonica and out. out so you are blowing your air out and then sucking it back in mm -hmm. right do that blow out and blow the other one. yeah so also the pitch changed when you blew it back in the pitch changed as when you're blowing it out Good job. Now the harmonica, that's a fun instrument to play. Some of you might actually have a harmonica at home. Um, this one's made of metal, uh, but there are some harmonicas that you can get even at the Dollar Tree uh, that are made out of plastic, and those are fun to play with too. Now, let's get some woodwind instruments in your hands. Let's try this experiment. Remember those straws that I told you you would need? Um, go ahead and get your straw, all right? Here you go. I'm going to use purple, not green. We're using the Canagate colors. Yeah, well, Canagate colors today. All right. Now, you might want some help with this activity because you are going to be using scissors. Okay, so I want you to be careful with what you're doing. We've done this in class before. Um, Ask your grace, you need scissors. All right, first of all, you're going to take your straw. Now, the, the only straws I had here at home were the kind that had the bendy part. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull that down because we want it to be nice and straight. All right. Now, on the opposite end, we're going to kind of flatten down. I don't know if you can see this well. We're flattening down our ends of our straws. Okay. It may take a couple times to flatten it. Okay. Well, don't get ahead. There's always one that gets ahead, isn't there? All right, so you're going to flatten that down. Now, let's test it out, okay? You're going to blow in. Doesn't really make a sound, does it? Take your grandma lip there. Let's see. Doesn't really make a sound. Okay, so take your scissors, all right? Have your parent or adult that's there with you help. And what you're going to do is... You're going to trim the side of the straw ever so, like the corners. You know, you flat, flatten it down. Now you're going to do the other corner so that it looks like a point now, a V. Can you see that? If I turn it sideways, can, they, can you see it? All right, Asher Grace, can you get a little closer and show them in the camera? Oh, that's that's pretty good. Go down a little bit. There you go. All right, so you cut the corners so it's kind of like a V. So it almost looks like an alligator mouth, doesn't it? All right, so you cut the corners there. Now let's see what that sounds like. You might have to lick your lips a little bit. 
So let's listen. So the shorter it goes, the smaller it is, the higher the sound. Listen to the difference now. instrument today. Um, I haven't tried this. I, I wonder if you, if you made a hole in one side of your straw. You might could even play it a little bit. I don't know. You'll have to experiment. Be careful with your scissors, okay? Um, this will be a fun thing to use outside. It is a beautiful day today, um, and this week hopefully we'll have lots of good weather, and so you can experiment with these. You could take several different straws and have them at different lengths and have them in front of you and pick them up and play different ways um, and maybe make a song. So have fun with this. Enjoy this. I hope you have an awesome week and we'll see you. Now the next week will be spring break um, for us and then we'll be back online with another instrument family that we can focus on and study. I miss each of you. I hope you're having um, a safe time at home and that you are making lots of memories and experimenting some new things, making and creating. And until I speak to you again, stay safe, wash your hands, and enjoy playing your woodwind instrument. <laughs>